Hurricane Florence hit the southeastern district, mainly hitting North Carolina, a little bit of South Carolina. The governors of both the states, as well as Virginia, they had mandatory evacuation orders. So many of our congregations and their pastors uh, evacuated. And then as the storm hit and it began to be clear that this was not only potentially a surge problem for people on the coasts, but also just pouring out inches and feet of water on these areas, especially the eastern part of North Carolina and South Carolina. This being the only location that, that we could get into uh, at, at the time, currently, so talking to Pastor Dobb, he identified uh, a lot of trees down, uh, roofs uh, damaged, some flooding in uh, nearby New Bern, North Carolina. I, I said to, our, to Heidi, our golden retriever, I'm like, well, baby, a, a tree just came down. <laughs> Kyle looked at me, and then you heard a few minutes later, boom, and the house shook, and I'm like, well, another tree came down, and then you heard the third one come down. And then down, then you hit 70, straight, straight south. Yesterday, we had opportunity in Havelock to visit retired military chaplain Charlie Smith and his wife Carolyn in their house that was impacted by the hurricane. Uh, the, the storm was approaching. We watched it several days on the uh, television. We weren't sure what direction it was going in. And when they said it was going to come towards Wilmington and go further south, we saw we were pretty much out of the woods, but evidently we weren't. And uh, we got a lot of wind. A lot of rain. Um, as you can see, a lot of structural damage. We were safe, and we knew that God is our refuge and protector. Yeah. And like I said, if something happened to us, we know where we're going. We know how you sent your guardian angels to watch and keep us, and how you promise uh, that you are always going to be with us. Can we pull this one back? Yes. We're out of dollars, so wait a second. Uh, I can get some dollars. Okay, so yep. you know we're we're right dollars in the back? Uh, certainly grateful for uh, this uh, tremendous load of supplies that has come in. We're serving as a hub here uh, for the short term here in Wake Forest. So what we're doing is loading a lot of the essential uh, cleanup, a lot of the essential uh, things like generators, wheelbarrows, uh, the stuff that people need. Uh, now uh, we're loading that up in this u-haul we're going to drive it down tomorrow morning to um, havelock north carolina a place that was hit uh, very hard the prayers of god's people make a huge difference so as those congregations gather in corporate worship and they're lifting up the congregations and the people of north and south carolina and all of the the victims of this hurricane that's huge and uh, the other thing that people can do is they can give offerings and those offerings can go either to Lutheran Church Missouri Synod Disaster Response or to the Southeastern District. Those monies go directly towards uh, the, the people who are working in the congregations, the supplies, uh, the people who are actually in need. So one of the things that we can really feel good about is within the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod uh, that there's no waste on that money. It's going specifically to the need.